Hi friends, welcome back to Sunday School. We're glad you could join us online. My name is Miss Jen. And I'm Miss Annie. And we were certainly glad to see you last week. We had a lot of fun. And the fun continues and so does the learning. So last week when we were in class together, we learned about a little boy named David who was chosen by God to do great, great things. Well, the, one of the many great things that David did, even when he was still a little boy, was defeated a giant man for God's people. So that's not easy, but he did it. And I want you to look up the story. If you're in my group, it's in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 4 through 11, then skip ahead a little bit, and verses 32 through 50. And you can hear about how David defeated the giant Goliath. And if you're in my group, you're going to be getting a book. You might get this book. You might get this book. It's the same story, different cover. And you can read that with mom or dad. Grandma or Grandpa or special friend, you're going to enjoy it. Do they have to bring the book back? No, you get to keep the book. That's the good thing about it. It's hey. yours for keeps. Yep. And don't let the learning stop there. You can go ahead and look online, and we posted a video lesson about David and Goliath. And we put the, a song on there, too, about David and his little battle with Goliath. And we also have the song on there that we played with the bells last week. So you can remember that song, sing along, and learn the new song. And then we have, if you're in my group, I have this really difficult word search. I got it out of a grown-up magazine, so good luck. And if you're in my group, I have another fun coloring page for you. And we have a fun game, too, that you can play. In your packet, you would have found that. That is something for you to cut out. Now, when you get it cut out, it'll look like this. And then you fold it on those dotted lines like this. And that is Goliath, and he should stand like this. So you stand him on a table, and then guess what we're going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to try to knock him down, of course. So fun. So you get yourself a piece of paper, old sprinkled up piece of scrap paper, okay. and tight, 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 make it into a stone. It's actually just a paper ball. <laughs> but pretend it's a stone. Now, you can either throw the stone at David and try to knock him over on the other end of the table, or if you're pretty gifted, and I know you guys are, I sent you along some rubber bands. Mm. You twist them, you put them on your fingers, load the Sloan in the stone oh in the slingshot. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully it works. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so your mom and dad are going to love this more than anything. Make sure you clean up after yourselves, but have fun trying to knock that Goliath over. So we also have one more thing in there. We have these little bitty birthday bags. And this is what we're going to use for the next few weeks to collect your offering. So as you look around and you find coins and maybe even dollars sticking in the couch or under the seat in the car, pick them up, put them in your little birthday bag and bring them to Sunday school when you come. Why is it a birthday bag? That's a good question. There's a very special birthday hmm. coming up and we're going to celebrate that birthday next month. It's the birthday of Jesus. So when you come back next time, we'll be talking about the birthday of Jesus, and you can bring an offering for that very thing. So we'll use that offering. We'll decide together what we could buy with that offering. We could get goats, or we could get chickens, or you know what else we could get, Miss Annie? An elephant? Yeah, we could. <laughs> no, we're not going to get an elephant. Oh. Gotcha. But we are going to decide. In the meantime, I think it's a good time. To pray out. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful technology that keeps us all connected. Thank you for the times we have together in person and the times we have at home with our families to learn about you. Keep us safe until we can all be back together. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen.